Indiana bred with a record 59 this year at Balmoral and in between is Mystical Sahara, that three-year-old filly by Super Ben Joe just won the Indiana Sire Stakes $100,000 final at Hoosier Park. So our thanks to Plowman, to the owners of those two, Plesak on the outside at the post, and here they come. They're off and trotting, and there goes Plesak and John Campbell for the lead, quickly dropping to the inside, getting out second, as Mi Amigo Mystical Sahara will trail, as Plesak will lead him toward the quarter, and Campbell has a hammer down as he drives that way, rolling through the lower turn. He trots toward the quarter-mile mark in the world record mile. They were out the quarter in 27-4. Plesak now midway around the lower turn, approaches the quarter-mile barrier. Behind him, he has the leading all-time money-winning driver in the sport, John Campbell, $180,000. He has him there in 27-1. So a good front panel, and he's now down the backstretch, and now the wind kicks up just a little bit, and it will push them down the backstretch, but will be a factor as they turn for home. Plesak has left the field behind him. He's got a 12-length advantage. Behind him, Mi Amigo is second, Mystical Sahara, who won the final for three-year-old fillies in Indiana last week is third. As they roll to the half, Plesak off a 27-1 front panel reaches a half, and he is there in 55-2, so he's only one-fifth off the mile in 51-1 at the Meadowlands. And big, strong Plesak, who comes off a win in the Maple Leaf Trot in Ontario, leads him by 15 lengths. Now he heads around the upper turn for Campbell. He'll have a bit of a win facing him when he turns for home. And he's midway through the turn. That wind also a factor when it blows across the turn as it's doing right now. Plesak approaches the three-quarter mile mark, and he's just reached that station for John Campbell. And he is there in 123 and 3. They were there in 23 in the world record mile. But a 29-second last quarter would tie him as the fastest ever at four. Anything quicker would make him the new world champion. Plesak, Illinois Harness Horse of the Year, 2000, in the lane, final eighth mile. He's the greatest trotter bred in the state of Illinois. He's game. He has John Campbell behind him. He drives to the wire. Plesak and John Campbell race to the finish. And Plesak is going to be out the wire for John Campbell in 153 and 3. He did not get the world record, but it does not diminish Plesak. He's the greatest trotter bred in the state of Illinois. Plesak, John Campbell, thank you, Dick Baylock, for bringing him to DuCoin. <laughs> Mystical Sahara in that mile was two, Mi Amigo was three. And Plesak, obviously the When he was winner. third in the Breeders' Crown de Varen, that is regarded by many to be the greatest trotting race in the history of our sport. And Varen is considered right now to be perhaps the greatest trotter ever. Doc and Pat Walker are in that ceremony. Doc Narotsky, who heads up the Racing as race secretary here at DuCoin and Springfield joins the ceremony. And the two handsome young men are unidentified at this point. Dick Baylog, an attorney, has been a longtime breeder and owner and supporter of our sport in the state. So our congratulations to Dick for this million four winner. And congratulations to Doc and Pat Walker. What a year they're having, by the way. The Walkers have the two-year-old filly honors locked up as breeder.